What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49 bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today I want to talk about the Gecko trading bot and how you can set balance limit for each Gecko. But before I do, I just want to cover a couple of things. So first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. So secondly, I just want to explain that I was out the last two weeks and didn't make videos for the last two weeks because the week before I was sick, sick like a dog literally. And then the week after that I was visiting my sister, so wasn't able to make a video. So the second thing I want to cover is that I um, thought about making a video on predictions because this is the new year and everybody loves making predictions. But that's one of those things where I hate, you know, it's just like basically filler material. Most of the time, prediction videos are completely useless because the thing is people make predictions that are so outrageous so that they would get hits and get views and, you know, just to like get people thinking maybe, but like really it's just always off base and completely wrong. So I'm so glad that I'm able to bring you today's video, which is not about predictions. <clears throat> so on to today's topic, setting balanced limit for each gecko. So what does that mean? So I already uploaded the file necessary to do this, but the point is if you have been using gecko for some time or as long as I have, one of the major limitations on gecko is that <clears throat> Gecko only lets you buy and sell the entire amount of um, your portfolio. <clears throat> so let's say that you know if you're trading in USD like I am, and you have a hundred dollars on your exchange. Get, what Gecko does is it goes in and automates the process and say, okay, you have a hundred dollars. We're gonna um, trade the whole entire hundred dollars every single time. So <clears throat> that's a big limitation that people have complained about forever. I mean, for one thing, you know, like if you wanted to trade multiple uh, coins, let's say on the same exchange, let's say you're on, you're on Coinbase Pro and you want to buy some Litecoin, you want to buy some Ethereum, you want to buy some Bitcoin, you can't have Gecko do that because Gecko would use up your entire balance on every on every single trade. So <clears throat> when it hits the right parameters to buy Ethereum, or buy Ethereum, and then if your bot is still running for Litecoin, it won't buy any Litecoin because it don't have any money left. That's a huge limitation. And I'm glad I found a way to get around it. And all you really need to modify is really just a trader.js file. And it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to go over the code. And uh, But before I do, I just want to show you the screenshots of actually a working in progress. So let me go ahead and uh, go over here and um, show you literally. So this is what I was testing to make sure that Gecko was running properly with this modified code so that uh, it actually will trade a set specific amount. So in here, as you can see in this, I'm not sure you can see it, I mean, I'll probably zoom in for you guys. So on the bottom section right here, this is where the debug console is inside Visual Studio Code. And you can see that a portfolio I had in Coinbase Pro was $100, just testing amount, nothing crazy. So, but then you can see the balance, I set it to $10. So what that means is, even though the portfolio has $100, Gecko is only able to trade $10 of it, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So right off the bat, this is looking good. And the second thing is actually having it work, actually seeing this in progress. I was like, wow, because once I had the strategy running, I had obviously with my other videos, like uh, using Telegram to issue a buy order, and that's what I did. I had uh, talked to Gecko via Telegram, issue a buy order, and then it just issued the buy order and actually went through as a sticky order as it's supposed to do and followed through the pricing and because the price was going up at that point in time it went from 16 to 18 to 19 to 28 and all the way up to 29 cents for the order so um, I think actually I bought at 30 cents even like four, uh, 148 30 cents for Ethereum so but you can see it canceled all these orders and it opened with this one but the point being is this is 148 dollars times 0 0.06 which equals to about exact equals to almost about ten dollar worth of ethereum and that's exactly what i wanted because again i had a hundred dollars in there but then now it used ten dollar of it to make this uh limit order to buy some ethereum but only ten dollar worth of it so the next screenshot here shows you that i put like a little debug right here just to see and also actually put a little uh, breakpoint so that i can see what exactly the current balance is because what I wanted to do is not just have it trade at the $10 point. What I needed to do is that once it trades at the $10, if it makes a winning trade, 
they will then let's say that you know if the if it went from like ten dollars to eleven dollars it will then use the whole eleven dollars on the next trade and so on and so forth so that winning trades it will have the higher balance of high available balance and losing trade it will have the lower available balance so it actually eats into your portfolio so let's say that you know for example if you have ten dollar worth and then it went from ten dollar and then sold it and then now you got to eight dollar you don't want it to go back to ten dollar and eat from your portfolio the extra two dollars right so what you want it to do is the next trade will be trading at eight dollars of that uh, of that amount and that's what this does here literally so it calculates that and um, determines that the current balance is only nine dollar and ninety cents well this is right now just a buy process it shows you the buy but the next screenshot here it shows you that it uh, went from nine dollars ninety cents to nine dollar eighty nine cents because it was a losing trade that it made afterwards. You know, just want to show you guys. I lost a penny, but no big deal to me. But like, it just shows you that it now has the current balance of nine dollar and eighty nine cents. So that's one of those things where I'm still playing with it right now. The file as this uses ninety nine percent of your of that ten dollar. So uh, and that's just basically how Gecko works, even though. It's, you know, even the default version, I think actually uses only 95%, but like my modified version here only used 99%, which means that a $10 um, portfolio, you a $10 balance, you're only gonna use like $9.90. So that's what exactly what happened in this case. It lost a penny in this trade here, so that um, now the balance available to it is $9.89. So, so on and so forth. I guess like, you know, I might try to play around with that a little bit more to see if I can get it to trade exactly the ten dollars in there every time, but I mean it's just this one line code. I'll go over that too, and you guys can try and play with it if you want to. So anyway, but the point is this works, and there's actually additional ramifications for it. But the main thing right now is that you can now have a gecko trading bot. You can have three or four or five gecko trading bots for different trade pairs, and you can have it trade specific amounts all the time. So you can have one that trades. Um, Ethereum, you can have one that trades Litecoin, or you can have multiple Gecko running on the same trade pair. Let's say they're all running on Ethereum, Ethereum USD, but then you can have different strategy. One that uses SMA, and this other one uses um, RSI, and the other one uses MACD, Bollinger Bands, whatever it is that you use you know, for your strategies. But you can have different strategies running at the same time. So that's, I have to say, it's pretty damn cool. So anyway, let me go into the code to show you why it actually modified. So in the trader.js file, the first thing I did was just actually add a, a variable called current balance right here. So and I set it to ten dollar. So you set it to whatever amount you want to set your um, your limit to be. So you can set it to hundred dollars if you have a thousand dollars in your portfolio, whatever it is, you know. So anyway, the next thing is inside a set balance. Why I said it was let's say if your um, if the portfolio balance the you know let's say that. If you have less than the current balance, uh, actually no, if you have more than the current balance, then you will use, um, we'll set the this.balance so equal to um, the current balance plus whatever you have as an asset times the price so that it will know how much you have in your, ba in your current balance. Basically, it will know that uh, you have, let's say, 23 cents plus um, 0 0.06 uh, Ethereum. So the Ethereum times the, the price of the Ethereum, this current point, will be actually how much you have as your balance. So that's what it sets right here, and then, uh, but let's say for example, if your um, portfolio, if your portfolio currency is less than your the current balance that you set, so let's say you set a current balance of ten dollars, but then you only have twenty five cents in your portfolio on your exchange, they'll use whatever you have in exchange to set the balance because you really don't have ten dollars in there. So there's no point to try to make a trade more than what you actually have. So that's what it does right here in the set balance function. So the next thing right here is, yeah, this is actually inside the buy function right here. So let's say that uh, the advice that came through is a buy, so now you're actually gonna buy it, uh, buy a certain amount of uh, crypto, or whatever trade pair that you uh, you have set up. It's gonna check again how much you have in your portfolio in your in your exchange compared to the current balance. If what you have in the portfolio is less than your current balance that you as you said, let's say that you set ten dollars. But you only have 25 cents again, it's gonna only give you 25 cents in here. So it's gonna use 25 cents divided by the price of the asset that you're buying, and then um, times 99%. And and 99% right here, this field, this is what causes Gecko to only use 
of um, that ten dollars or whatever amount that you have set up in the current balance, you can probably take this off. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure you can if you only is using a a portion of your actual balance, because the reason why this is there is because um, we want to make sure that Gecko actually issue the buy order and not have the buy order rejected because you don't have enough money in your account. So what actually is is that you probably shouldn't adjust this in this line right here, but in the else line. So again, so let's say that you know if you do have more um, money than you um, than the actual current balance that you set, then then the else line happens. And in this case, you know uh, you would set the current balance divided by this price times 0 0.99, and you could probably just take out 0 0.99 right here. And assuming that you have extra balance in your portfolio in your exchange. This should execute all the time, so then you will actually use the exact amount. So something that you know, play around with um, when you guys get a chance. So that is pretty much it. I'm just gonna double check to make sure here. What else I modify? Oh, actually, this is another thing I modify right here. So this traded.js file is already a previously modified version from um, the video I made previously. Gecko Trading Bot making better trades by using a blotter. Again, for people that don't know what blotter is, a blotter is a basically a way to track the trades that your bot is making so that you can actually uh, review it and determine if your strategy is working properly. So this is how you can make better trades of it. And, and this trader.js file already has that implemented. So you do have to follow the instructions from this video in order to use this trader.js file, which is basically installing the FS uh, plugin for Node.js in order for this uh, in order for this trader.js file to work. So and then what this does is in here is it will check if um, the price is not zero and the summary now amount is not zero, this is the stuff that it gets back from the exchange. So if, and sometimes it gets back a zero because maybe the trade is not completed yet and gets back a zero. So you just want to ignore it, and that's what it does here. The next line is a uh, logged out remote. Actually, what this does is um, it actually just logs it onto Telegram or push bullet or whatever it is that you use um, to um, to send to send messages to get remote messages. So, but the next line is the current balance equal to summary dot price times summary amount. So again, this is where we are updating the current balance so that you know even though you set it as originally ten dollar, now it can, it's going to adjust that down and up based on how much your wins or losses are with your strategy. So and this line will set the limit higher if you have winning trades and lower if you have losing trades based on the amount you actually uh, sell your crypto at. So that's basically it. The next line is to log that debug line for me to just see the balance. And that's when I was uh, showing you guys the screenshots, so I actually you know captured those screenshots. Not, ne not really necessary, but I just added it there. And that's basically it. Yeah, that's all I changed. So not a lot of changes, but then that's all it takes to make it so that now you have modified version of gecko that's able to run multiple trade pairs at the same time and or multiple strategies with the same api key in the upcoming video i don't i can't guarantee it's the next one but in the upcoming video i'm thinking so additionally besides being able to uh, limit the balance of each gecko what you can do next is actually have um, a strategy that layers buys or layers sells even, so that you can have a strategy that buys 10% when it's at price X and then it buys more if it drops lower. Because we're using this exact same, not exact same, but we'll be modifying this trader.js again so that we actually can talk to it and have it buy at only a percentage of what you actually have in your portfolio so that you can, uh, you can create these a more advanced strategies so that you don't have to say oh buy all at once now you can have layer buys and that's something that I know a lot of people talked about and they really want to do in uh, Gecko so something that I'm gonna um, try to work on in the next week or maybe in the in a few weeks to see if that's actually possible I'm pretty sure it is but not guaranteed right now maybe you guys have time and you guys are actually coders you can actually um, do that yourself already based on what I have in this code so, but that's basically it, guys. So, a couple of things. So, first of all, uh, definitely want to uh, thank my patrons. And uh, so, as part of as being a patron to uh, my Patreon, 
I just want to give a shout out to you guys for everyone that contributes. And um, so, and actually I'm supposed to do that once a month. <laughs> so, Rahanadan K, three times. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Since you guys, since you have actually um, been a patron since November. And the other thing is, even though I was out sick two weeks ago, and then I was, and I didn't make a video last week, I still made my post on Patreon because that's my promise to my patrons that I will make a post at least once a month. And for the month of December, I made this post called How to Make a Profitable Strategy for Gecko and Why RSI BB, which is the RSI Bull Bear Strategy, fails. So um, I cover specifically why RSI uh, Bull Bears fail, but uh, if you, you guys can read part of it here already. But if you want to find out the next portion of it, of actually making a profitable strategy, you have to be a patron. So definitely sign up, patreon.com slash crypto49er and you'll get a post like this once a month. So giving you like more ideas into how to make profitable plays with crypto. The last thing I want to say is um, I put up a uh, poll last month uh, asking you guys what kind of content you guys like to see on this channel. But based on the people that voted so far, 42% of you guys said you want to see more about Gecko Trading Bot. And that's pretty much what I will be covering. Um, and I mean, once in a while, I'll probably still will cover a how-to video. But for the most part, yeah, I'll definitely be covering uh, more Gecko and strategies as well too because it's probably easier, I noticed, to like cover other people's strategies. And I'll probably um, look through um, GitHub to see if there are any um, strategies that I haven't covered in the past that might be interesting to play with. So definitely expect to see more. Um, but if you guys are interested in voting in this poll, click on the link down below and uh, let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. So anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining. It isn't worth speculating. Peace out.